for you this round. White Blue Control versus Is It Phoenix. And we're going to pick things up here in game number two, Ted Felicetti versus Steven Solis. Fascinating matchup here and, and another big one defining matchup of, of modern, at least in this snapshot in time. Uh, the Is It Phoenix deck and the Blue White Control deck, both with a lot of card selection to find the right answers and the right threats for the matchup. But the Phoenix deck more relying on um, mana efficiency and resilient threats like the Arclight Phoenix, whereas the White Blue Control deck better able to take over in the late game with powerful Planeswalkers, Path to Exile permanently exiling uh, the Phoenix, the Phoenixes and other creatures. And it looks like Felicetti up a game and now things probably even getting better for him bring, being able to bring in stuff like Rest in Peace. So Monastery Swift Spear able to get in for a little bit of damage here and then we've got a Lightning Bolt right to the dome and a uh, Faithless Looting to pump up that Swift Spear. Yeah, so Steven Solace doing his burn impression which is actually great news because his uh, other game plans are going to be yes. tough in the face of Rest in Peace but if he can just get a quick win, unload a lot of damage with the Swift Spear, and sort of circumvent the whole graveyard thing. This might go well for him. Rest in peace. Hits the table, so this Faithless Looting is going bye-bye once it's cast. But Ted already down to 13 after a, a two attacks from Steven. Yeah, it's likely that this Swift Spear is going to get in for at least another three this turn. Boom, there's an opt. Let's find out where that card's going, right into the hand for Steven. And Swift Spear hits the red zone. Another land, Ted down to 10. See a path to exile in Ted's hand there. Yeah, it looks like Ted really just has it all this game. He's got multiple answers to creatures. He has his land drops. He has a planeswalker in hand. Perfect situation for him. However, this is really good for uh, Steven Solis. He kept two crackling drakes in his hand, if I saw correctly. Okay. And now getting path to exile gives him his fourth land, and he can play back-to-back -back, uh, two-for-one cards that, that are must answers for Felicetti. And Crackling Drake has a pretty important piece of text on it when it comes to those cards in exile. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Rest in Peace does not shut down Crackling Drake. These are still going to be giant threats. Boom, there's Crackling Drake for Steven. Draws a card. And an opt from Ted. Oh, man. <laughs> A miracle Terminus says bye bye Crackling Drake. And there's Jace. Not the Jace where you might have expected. This is Jace, Architect of Thought. Excellent against um, weenie, weenie Swarm strategies, stuff like Lingering Souls, and just generally nice Planeswalker with a good high loyalty. Coming down, ticking up to five, and protecting itself. Crackling Drake number two here for Steven. Draws a card. It's a mountain. Land go then from Steven after the play of the Crackling Drake. Back over to Ted. Cryptic Command. He's got a couple of those in hand now. Well, given that Ted has the answer to the Crackling Drake, he's untapping comfortably with a Planeswalker and now setting himself up with permission spells in hand. I think uh, he's in really, really great shape. Steven did a nice job getting him down to 10 early on, but 10 is not quite oh burn no. range, especially against an opponent who has permission spells. So I don't think Steven's really going to be able to cross the finish line in this game, and Ted is just so far ahead in terms of card quality, card quantity, everything. That uh, minus there on that Jace that Steven was taking a look at is reveal the top three cards of the library. An opponent separates them into two piles. Put one into your hand, the other on the bottom of the library in any order. 
All right, another path to exile. Down goes the Crackling Drake for Steven. And uh, Ted's done a number on Steven so far this game, managing to deal with everything that he's, every threat that he's managed to produce. Might be the case that Steven has no lands left in his, no basic lands left in his deck to search for with Path to Exile. He has one island exiled, one mountain in his hand. I saw him sort of check for that. So I don't yeah. think, don't think he forgot about the Path to Exile. I think he just doesn't have anything left. All right, back over to Steven's turn. Another land, and oh, is that another Crackling Drake in hand? That's what he needs. He needs something very potent. I see a thing of the thing in the ice as well. Thing in the ice is pretty bad in this matchup. Yeah. It's not potent. It's easy to answer. It's slow. There's thing in the ice coming with four counters. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, I don't think it is a Drake in hand. I believe it's an Is It Charm. Yeah. And Ted, after the Path to Exile, didn't find a land, knows the coast is clear that Steven is, is out of lands. So he goes ahead with the... Uh, <laughs> Full strip mine oh, yeah. in Field of Ruin. Getting further and further ahead. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Another minus of Jace down to one. Two piles there from Steven. Jace. TMS into hand. The rest on the bottom. And we're just going to cast him. So double Jace action in play for Ted Felicetti. There's Is It Charm from Steven. And Dispel takes care of that charm. Draw for Steven, but... Quite the brick wall set up by Ted Felicetti. Yeah, Steven definitely needs a haste creature or a burn spell if he's going to stay in this game. He can't let Ted on top with both Jaces. Oh, there we go. All right, how about an Arclight Phoenix? That's, that's exactly what Steven needed to, to allow the game to continue. It's definitely not in good shape, but... Being able to take down that Jace the Mind Sculptor was certainly stage number one, step number one. Sometimes you just hard cast your Arclight Phoenix, you know? <laughs> That's all you can do with the rested piece out there. <laughs> Some storms never blow over. Great flavor text. Unless there's a rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> that should have been in italics. Or like, you know, the asterisk. Fine print at the bottom of the legal document. Thing in the ice number two for Steven is the attempt here. And there's an opt. So much permission in hand for Ted. Why not? Cryptic command. Phoenix back to hand. Opt. No, no, no. That's not happening. Thing in the ice ticks down to three. Visions here for Ted. Jace plus. So relevantly, that will mean that Arclight Phoenix is not a lethal attacker against the Jace. So remember, the, the Jace Architect of Thought plus one, it's just a static ability. It doesn't... Um, it's not targeting anything? Exactly. It's not targeting the creatures that are, that are in play already. And there is Phoenix coming back. From Steven's hand. Cryptic Command, though, is going to say a no, no, no. Into exile it goes. Jace minus. Let's take a look at these three. Oh, 
Oh boy, <laughs> some fun choices here for Steven. Blue-white control looking excellent in this game. Yeah, blue-white control is remains a really, really strong deck in modern. And it looks like uh, Ted Fell said he's well on his way to being 5-0 and here. Up a game and in good shape. Post sideboard against Is It Phoenix. Adds a couple more spells to the hand. There's a Field of Ruin. Or cards, rather. And uh, Detention Sphere here takes care of that thing in the ice. As Ted continues to whittle away at Steven's will to live here. <laughs> How about this thing in the ice? No, 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 no. Strip mine. Oh, but we're going to shuffle. <coughs> At this point, Reed, is it just case closed for Steven? Yeah, given the, the permission spell in Ted's hand and uh, how how carefully and patiently he's playing, I don't think Steven's going to get back into this game. It, this is the type of situation where it would take Ted doing something reckless, like tapping out on his main phase to attack with the Colonnade, and Steven having some kind of devastating co combination of cards. But I think if Ted just takes his time and plays patiently and doesn't leave any doors open, then this is uh, this one's in the books. How much do you think Teferi has done for white-blue control in modern? Quite a lot. Surprisingly, uh, I've heard a lot of control players say that Teferi is the best Planeswalker in the deck, even better than Jace the Mind Sculptor. Um, just its ability to, to come down with such a high loyalty and keep the shields up in terms of allowing you to play it and have permission spell uh, back up right away. It matches up a lot better against Lightning Bolt and Bloodbraid Elf than Jace does. Teferi's uh, really surprisingly strong for, uh, for given the fact that five mana is often too much for modern, Teferi sure. has really done a lot more than I expected it to. All right, Gideon joining the team here for Ted Felicetti. Again, our feature matches from tables 10, 20, and Great creature for keeping your opponent from having any fun. <laughs> and for attacking in win condition. And there's Teferi, the man of the hour. Ted with a particularly Planeswalker heavy version of Blue White Control. Jace, Architect of Thought, and Gideon of the Trials are not necessarily surprising cards, but also not stock. A little bit of Super Friends action going on here. There's a Phoenix from Steven. Grab a land here. There's a bolt. And we are going to hit the accelerator here on this time walk match as we get ever closer to round number six here in the building. Pairings have been put up as we see Ted Felicetti tie a bow on this match here with his white blue control deck versus Is It Phoenix deck. You know, sometimes it takes a long time for, for it to slam the door, but slam the door it does. Right, yeah, this is one of those cases where the game is over a lot, a long time before the 20th point of damage is actually dealt. Like, there's no way that Steven Solis can win from this position, even though it's still going to take Ted a couple of turns to effectively uh, deal the last point. 
There's a Gideon en emblem. Jace is the mind sculptor. Four and planeswalkers. Play. <laughs> All <in> play. right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This might be more Planeswalkers than we've seen in the entirety of the <laughs> tournament so far on camera. I, I think that it is. And Ted Felicetti taking down that match two games to zero with white-blue control. What are your takeaways there, Reed? White-blue control Looked still awesome. still looking really good. And the fact that uh, Is It Phoenix is one of the exciting breakout decks of the last few weeks of Modern and that blue-white control appears to have some pretty strong game against it, that, that might even yeah. put it in a better position than it's been. All right, well, more magic coming at you. Our next round is just minutes away. Don't go anywhere.